I'm going to talk a little bit about the software, and I just kind of show, thought I'd show you the the uh, setup I've got. Um, right there is a, that's a, a little card reader that you can buy that's USB uh, compatible. They're only a few dollars actually, and uh, on eBay places like that makes it handy for entering users. You'll see that in just a minute. There's my computer. There's the router behind it is the server and I've got four Macs set up right here and they're labeled one through four. All right let's take a look at the software. This is the dashboard for Macs. This is the control program that's used to uh, set up the control the entire system. You can uh, set users in here. Uh, you can uh, set up stations or machines. Uh, you can then assign users to machines and you can also use a log and uh, there's also some other uh, features that has a little bit of, uh, of graph graphing of data which we probably won't have enough data here to graph but uh, then there's also a small addition part of it that's uh, used for setting up the uh, the Wi-Fi credentials that sort of thing for the, for the system but anyway this this particular screen requires this is an administrative type program so this requires a sign-in. Now this of course is I'm running under Chrome right now and uh, you could use any kind of a, a browser uh, Internet Explorer. You could use a tablet. You could even use a phone. What I'm going to do here is add some users to the system right now. I've got myself in there as an admin but I'm going to add some more. We'll start with user one. User one and uh, We'll just assign an email address. We could put in this section here, we can put his user ID number or his, his admin uh, ID name and here a password, from, but we're not going to give him admin capability. Now for the badge, I simply sweep the badge over the reader and it enters that number for me. Okay, let's do user number two. Same email. Badge two. Or the reader. That reader makes it really easy. User three. Or email. Badge ID number three. So we've got three users in the system. And uh, now what we need to do is to find some stations. Now the max units I had sitting on here on the table are actually numbered with the jumpers on the back are numbered one through four. So let's drop one with a, a table saw. A table saw to make him machine number one. Uh, and this would be a, a we're going to use a saw stop, a table saw. Alright, we'll add him. Alright, next machine, maybe that should be a, a planer. And that's going to be machine number two. And that will be a, I'll have that be a Grizzly uh, 15 inch, 15 inch planer. Next thing, let's have uh, some metal work equipment. How about, uh, We'll call it lathe one and make him machine number three. We're going to call it a, uh, we've got an arc, we've got 11 inch lathe, so about 11 inch metal lathe. All right, and we got one more thing. Let's make that a mill. Mill one. We're going to get more mills, right? That'll be number four, and I'll say that. That's going to be the bridge port. All right, so we've got a set of equipment here. We've got table saw, planer, lathe, mill, and on the again on the max units, they were the jumpers were set up so these were numbered one, two, three, and four. Now I'm going to make that small. Now this is this section is interesting. This is a matrix, <clears throat> and the matrix we can uh, identify who can use what 
equipment. So let's just say user one can use a table saw, user two can use a planer, and user three, he'll be the super user, he can use anything. And we'll update those. If you look down below, this is a log, and you can see every every uh, action I took. I, I uh, here's where the stations were, were connecting when I when I powered them up. <clears throat> they were unknown at this point. I created three users. I created these four machines, and I updated the access rights to, to these people. So that takes care of our log. Now, if I go over here. I take a user number one and try the, the uh, table saw. We'll see it's unlocked. Unlocked means that the, the device can be run. So user number one is using the table saw. So user number two will put him in a place that he can use the pointer and he's unlocked. Now, user number three can use anything. I'm going to go ahead and put him over there on the milling machine. Okay, user number three is operating the mill. Now, if I take user number two off of the uh, planer, you'll see that it's locked, and he used it for 18 seconds. We'll try him on the uh, the lathe. Let's see if, what happens when we try him on the lathe. Uh-oh. He's rejected. It... it came up twice because I, I put the card in rather slowly, but um, anyway, uh, yeah, he was rejected on a lathe. He's not able to operate the red light on the unit came on. Uh, another interesting thing, if I take a card that's not in the system at all, here's another badge, and, and it hasn't been assigned to a user, so I'll put him in the, in the lathe. Now we get a rejected, uh, and this is a card number. And this is the device that he tried to use. If he goes over here and tries to use the planer, we'll get the same thing, but it'll say the planer. So uh, that's basically how the system works. Now, the log it, it is a log that's kept in a uh, MySQL database. And you can, uh, you can get into this database using PHP uh, MyAdmin, which is pretty cool. You can... Uh, Okay, down here there's a usage column. Now, we don't have enough usage for it to actually start working. But, but the usage column is just some stuff, some things we've been playing around with, with uh, graphics to determine uh, how much equipment was used, that sort of thing, on a graphical basis. Here's uh, here's where we set up. This, this little screen right here allows us to set up the Max devices for their SSIDs and passwords they're, they're able to accept. So... There's a primary SSID and a password, and then there's two secondaries. And when we say primary and backup here, what we mean is primary and backup for access to the uh, to the particle uh, uh, cloud. And, and we, the reason we use a particle cloud is that that's how we do a software update. But the max uh, network that's that's in our makerspace is a closed network. It does not have access to the internet. That's uh, for security purposes, of course. But uh, that's the main control software. Now there's another soft, another program that we can use, or a web page really, and it's called LogView. Now the max LogView is right here. Notice there's no login required here. Anybody who has access to our our Wi-Fi network can look at this thing on a, on their cell phone or tablet or or, or laptop, whatever they want, and uh, you can see exactly what's going on. So if uh, somebody's over here using the table saw, you can say, okay, well I'll just wait till they get off. So whenever you see this pop up where it's where it's locked, table saw, then you know that he's done with the table saw. And you can use we we can use this database for all kinds of things, and it's, and it's easy. Uh, relatively easy anyway to write uh, the PHP code to generate web pages to do all kinds of t statistics on, the, on what's going on in our database. But uh, that that's the uh, the Max uh, software system in a nutshell. I uh, hope you enjoyed it.